We're joining Tony on his second day of his rattling handgun hunts here in Texas. So we're, we're down in South Texas. We're going to do a little rattling today. Uh, we rattled last night a little bit, saw a few deer. We're hoping this morning it's a little bit cooler. We're hoping to get a little bit more action with the bucks chasing the does. The deer really weren't moving around. Uh, it's a little bit cooler this morning, so we're hoping they're going to move around a lot better. So hopefully we get it done this morning. We go to this first spot, we set up on it, and he says, you know, I really want to try this area. I know there's a lot of deer in it. He says, I think this will be a good opportunity to do some rattling. He starts rattling, and uh, I don't think we were there probably 10 minutes. We've got does all over the place. We've got bucks coming in from behind us. And for whatever reason, our scent doesn't seem to bother them. They're just all over us. When you have these animals pop out in front of you and you got your gun up and they take off on just like that, you, you can be frustrated, but if you just stick with it, it's going to happen. And there's plenty of animals here. I don't get disappointed not being able to shoot, but sometimes there's a real nice one you'd really like to get the shot at and it just doesn't happen. Well, we got in this morning, we got set up here. Um, weight started rattling, rattling a pretty good size one behind us. I couldn't turn around and take a shot at it, but it took off. Uh, a couple minutes later, he rattled again, brought another buck in. I was about two ounces away from dropping a hammer on that thing, and it took off. You don't get a lot of time. It's a really quick uh, encounter, and off you went. After just missing out on taking that buck, Wade and Tony decide to move to a new location and to stick with this tactic of moving around to maximize their chances of stirring up some deer movement. And so they moved, and moved, and moved again until finally settling into an area they hunted last year with some promising opportunity. So we went in, we set up, he starts rattling, two doe come out into the field, we didn't seem to bother them after a while. They settled down, they're walking around in there, and uh, in comes the first buck. He comes in and he's, he's coming in from the left and he's kind of following those does. I tried to bring the gun up, but he just, he was behind a bunch of bush and he never really actually came in and he went off to the left with those does. Looked back, here comes another buck. Kind of an old timer. Not the best rack in the world, but it'll do. You know, we're just rattling, it's kind of tough, so it's one of those things. You've got nothing in front of you, you crack the horns a couple of times, the next thing you know, you got a couple of does, and then we got these two bucks come in. It just goes from nothing to high intensity, just like that. That's a Smith Wesson Performance Center 629, it's 44 Magnum. One shot, down he went, you know? Nothing like it. Congrats, Tony, on harvesting this great management buck. For more information on Performance Center handguns, visit smith-wesson.com and click Performance Center.